Can you drop Elegoo's Rapid PETG into your bamboo printer and it just work? Get great results? Well, today we're going to find out. We're going to use the generic PETG HF setting and we're going to see what the results look like. Now, if it does take some tweaking, I'll let you know what that is. That way you can print with confidence and get great results. So now for the setup. On every video that I do on filament, I use the exact same settings. So this is a bamboo A1 with a 0.6 nozzle installed, 0.24 layer height, and you can see we're using the generic PETG HF setting. So we're gonna send this to the printer and get it going, and then we'll see what we get. Right, now our print is all done and let's take a look at it now i will mention in this model i typically run five top layers and well i forgot to change that so this it did print at the default three top layers so when we're looking down inside there and we can kind of see the infill still a little bit i'm not going to blame that on the filament because that was the setting i forgot to change so other than that the model looks very nice you can see it's very no warping, everything looks pretty good. Can't complain about that. Now, one of the reasons I use this model is because it fits within another part. It is uh, designed to hold another part. So dimensional accuracy makes a difference to me. Now, PETG is subject to shrinkage a little bit more than PLA. So there was a possibility that this would actually fit a little too tight on this particular battery. But if we drop it in, we'll notice that it sits right in, no problem. So shrinkage definitely was not an issue, but retention is an issue. So when we did the review on the Polymaker, the Polymaker had equal amount of retention as other filaments that I had used, but this PETG does not, unfortunately. So we'll drop it in again in a different slot just to see if possibly it holds in that slot. And no. All right, so if I was to use this material on a regular basis, I would need to modify my model just a little bit, probably a tenth of a millimeter and would solve that problem. Since this product is typically printed in PLA, I really can't fault the PETG in this case, just because the original model was not designed for that particular filament. But the question was, will it print plug and play? And the answer to that question is yes. You can take it right out of the box, put it in your bamboo and it will print. Now it may need dried. It is PETG and it is hydroscopic. So this filament does require drying. Let's take a look at some of the specifications that Elegoo uh, provides for the filament, and I'll put that right here on the screen, but I have it on paper, so let's read it. The nozzle temperature, 240 to 270 C, and we were running it at 220. So we're actually running it a little cooler than they recommended. Uh, the bed temperature, 65C to 75C, and the default for Bamboo Slicer was 70C, and it worked just fine, and that's within range. Now, the print speed, the default for Bamboo Slicer is 150 millimeters. When I looked that up, basically they're saying that's a good balance for a great print and decent speed, but you are free to go in there and adjust the speed all you like. Uh, with this Elegoo Rapid PETG, they say 600 millimeters per second or less. So probably some wiggle room there in speed if you wanna go in and play around and try to get it cranked up. But that's not the question for today. The question is, will it print out of the box? 
And the answer is yes, it will. So if you'd like to buy some of this filament, by all means, there is a link down below. And yes, it is an affiliate link. So if you buy 12,000 rolls, I will make a dollar. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have a filament that you would like for me to review to see if it will work by default, just plug and play in your bamboo printer. Comment down below and let me know what that is. And we'll see if we can get some and try it out.